the phone is ringing off the hook at the governor's office. Callers from across the country voicing their outrage over an atheist display in the Capitol Rotunda. King 5's Alyssa Hahn explains how the controversy has now gone national. Ever since the atheist display went up in the state capitol building two days ago, there hasn't been a silent day or night. A spokesperson for the governor's office says they're fielding about 200 calls an hour from outraged constituents like Jim and Tammy Vogler of Sammamish. To think that our governor, you know, would approve something like this, and especially an atheist sign right next to the nativity scene. The Voglers take issue with the display's location, just a few feet away from a nativity scene depicting the birth of Christ and its message, which says there is no God. It's not a religious display. It is an attack on religion. The state says the president of the Freedom From Religion Foundation who put up the display went through the submission process, just like those who sponsored the nativity scene and the holiday tree. We're not in a position where we're endorsing any point of view, we have to be very careful not to do that. Washington State is ground zero for just about every nutty secular cause on earth. In front of a national audience, conservative talk show host Bill O'Reilly urged his viewers to call Governor Gregoire. She is a weak, confused leader who is allowing a small fanatical group parody in Christmas displays. I mean, how crazy is this? Today, Governor Gregoire and the state's Republican Attorney General cited the First Amendment. Once government admits one religious display or viewpoint onto public property, it may not discriminate against the content of other displays, including the viewpoints of non-believers. But the explanation isn't enough for the Voglers, who say the political correctness has gone too far. It's going to have some very lasting, I hope some lasting, but some big repercussions across this country. And people are really going to start to say this is enough. I, I, I hope so. Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.